Now this is a video review for a couple of very nice action figures. Um, this is the SH Figure Arts. This is uh, Gaim and Baron. Uh, Gaim Orange Arms and Baron Banana Arms. Which just came out this past week. And uh, came out together, which is kind of rare for a, uh, a Rider series. As far as I know, I mean, usually usually you get one at a time. Uh, so it's kind of nice to get these two together. Baron, I'm, I'm still debating if I want to hang on to Baron. I, I just... I like the character on the show. I don't know if I'm a big fan of his banana arms. Um, if, if, they, if, they did, if they did uh, mango arms or lemon energy arms, I'd be all over. Especially mango arms. Mango arms is awesome. But uh, but still, they're very very nice and very well done. Um, now, also with them, you see there's a couple of bonuses. These were the first pre-order bonuses. If you got in on the first run, uh, you got these pieces. And I believe the stage came with Gaim, and this uh, shiny gold foldable backdrop came with Baron. Because uh, they all came together from Ami Ami this week, but it makes a nice little display piece for your figure art uh, displays. Uh, I'll probably have Gaim and Kachidoki on here later on. Like I said, the, the, this is just a nice textured gold backdrop on some board. You know, some some some. You know, it's it's good stock. Um, it's it's a nice thick stock, but it is just like some, uh, some fancy cardboard. Um, and then a nice plastic stage with you can see there's Gaim, Baron, Zengetsu. And Ryugan, uh, the the four main riders that showed up at the beginning of the series, uh, and their and their little logos here etched out in gold, on the base. It's a really nice shiny plastic, and a, just a really nice display area for the figures. Now the the figures themselves, uh, they're they're standard figure arts uh, quality. They're really nice. They got a lot of nice posability. All the joints are there. Uh, the joints match very well. Um, they got the new hips here, but uh, they work really well. Uh, and all the detail, and just really nice in the armor. The armor's all hinged. Uh, there's a little bit of a movement here in the chest plate to uh, allow the waist to move, although the armor is not removable like the Arms Chain series. Uh, even the belt, uh, the lock seed, the little slicer does. The lock seed does not close, but the little uh, knife on the belt works, which is kind of cool. And they even have their little individual logos on the belt themselves. Uh, they do each come with a closed version of their lock seed that they can hold. Uh, very tiny, and you can put that on the belt too. If before you know, to if you choose, uh, the lock seed does come off. Uh, in the case of Baron, I think it's just more of a standard buck that they painted uh, to use it. Uh, his spear uh, comes uh, in, with two pieces. It comes with the extended piece as well as the fully collapsed piece uh, for the spear itself. So you've got a couple different options there. And of course, they each come with. Uh, he's got one of his fists. He's still packed with it. I've obviously swapped this hand out to hold the spear. Uh, they, they each come with a, a set, a, like eight extra hands. So you get ten pairs of hands for each figure. Uh, the fists they come packaged with, and then various versions of open palms and hands that allow, like a hand that has his finger extended to hold the trigger on the Muso saber, a regular closed hand to hold the uh, Daidaimaru. Um, and again, there's Barons right there. Uh, so, so a lot of interchangeable hands for various poses. Um, and here's Gaim. Uh, he's got a very nice Daidai Maru here, and it's metallic gold, and the effect is achieved by this little clear part that snaps on. So you see that shiny gold paint uh, through the, the clear window. It's a really wonderful looking weapon. And then the Muso Saber is like the thing. It can store over here, just like uh, it's got the groove and everything. Just like the toy. Ah, oh, Baron, you died! Um, just like on the, on the toy, so you can slide it right in there and store it on his waist, which is nice, uh, accurate to the show. He does have his extra lock seat holder. I don't know if that will come into play at all, but uh, if you wanted to, you can store, uh, like here's Baron's banana lock seat. You can plug that on there. So if they do make future versions with like pine arms and all that stuff, if you want to give the pine seed and all that on to uh, his little lock seat holder there, you can. That's kind of a neat idea. Um, again, he's got the same functional knife as well as the closed version of his lock seed and in this case it actually has a function because you can pop this lock seed off uh, just like on the show and uh, attach it to the Muso Saber for the power-up attack which is neat and of course also uh, like the show the functionality you can uh, the Daidai Maru does in fact attach to the bottom of the uh, Muso Saber to give him the, uh, the combined weapon there. Um, the visor is really nice. It's got the, the metallic orange behind the clear 
Um, he also has a little bit of that movement in the chest plate for uh, for action poses. But just, I mean, the shiny metallic orange on this and the gold detail on the legs and everywhere else and the belt. Uh, it's just a really, like I said, Baron, I, I like, they're, they're both really well made. They're both excellent figures. Um, Baron, like I said, I just don't know, I just don't really care for the banana arms look. Um, so we'll see if I hang on to this one. I probably will, just because I do have Zangetsu and uh, Ryugan pre-ordered, so I'll at least have the four main riders. Um, so I'll probably hang on to it for that display. But um, I know I just I just pre-ordered the Kachidoki arms from Amiami the other night, and that one I'm really looking forward to, because as much as I love this armor, like, this is what, like, seriously, this is one of my favorite rider armors, just in general. It looks really nice. It's a really striking armor. And it's really cool. Um, and Kachidoki Arms just looks amazing. I'm really looking forward to seeing that one come out in figure form. Um, as, as well as I'm kind of looking forward to seeing the Kiwami figure arts if they do that. Because uh, that's a neat looking design too with the cape and everything. But yeah, there is uh, SH Figure Arts Gaim Orange Arms and Baron Banana Arms. Uh, both worthy pickups uh, if you're into the show. And it, it really is, if you're not watching Gaim... Kamen Rider guy, you should you should check it out because it's probably the, one of the best. It's it's definitely the best Rider series we've gotten since I started watching. Um, that's not saying much since one of those was Wizard, but uh, and, and even Wizard wasn't that bad. I'm giving I'm kind of being a little overly facetious here, but um, but it's really really good. Like I can't imagine how it stays as good and then keeps upping the ante every week. But uh, it's a really great show. And I mean, if, if you, even if you're not generally into that thing, it's worth checking out because it's a it's, it's a fun and it's really good. Uh, despite the, uh, the, the the initial reaction of fruit armor uh, that, that everybody had when it first was announced. So yeah, there's Gaim and Baron from the Figure Arts line. Uh, more coming as they are released. Uh, like I said, they're, they're both very solid. If you like Baron, he's great. Gaim, I think, is just amazing. I think Gaim's probably now my favorite figure art that I own. Uh, possibly, at least, at least uh, writer-wise. Although uh, the Mario figure art that I reviewed is also very nice. So there you go, Gaiman Baron from the SH Figure Arts line. Oh, I didn't show the packaging. Just real quick, they come in some nice little packaging with uh, the orange, and then uh, it kind of looks like their Lockseed logos there on the clear window. Just to give you an idea what the packaging looks like. Nothing amazing, but uh, really nice figures. Definitely worth the price. 